Good Tuesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. Low pressure across the central Gulf of Alaska will control not only Alaska's weather, but a large part of the lower 48s going ahead into the next several days. In the meantime, showers and thunderstorms are popping up offshore of southeastern Alaska. You can see that on the satellite imagery if you're watching that with the clouds bubbling up west of the Dixon entrance and north and west of Haida Gwaii. Look for pockets of rainfall to continue in southeast tonight. Snow is still possible around Haines and the Haines Highway. The winter weather advisory has been dropped for now. Pockets of rainfall just outside of Prince William Sound and cruising down the southeastern coast of the Kenai Peninsula over Kodiak Island and along the Alaska Peninsula and rain is falling in St. Paul with snow showers around Northway toward Toke and also around the Chukchi Seacoast. Most of the interior today is seeing a relatively cloud-free sky. However, that is going to allow temperatures to drop to uh, pretty chilly levels once again tonight along the Yukon Valley and uh, northward toward the Kobuk and Noatak Valley. Look for a mainly clear sky all the way north of the Brooks Range to just about Kaktova. Coastal areas of the Arctic will likely see uh, cloud cover, areas of fog and flurries, and perhaps even a little bit of blowing snow closer to the coast and certainly offshore. As we look out across the central and western chain. Rain and snow showers will continue all the way from Shemya to Adak and Atka to Dutch Harbor and Unalaska with pockets of rain and snow a little more likely as you head east. Low pressure sitting east of Kodiak Island at 968 millibars will keep a steady south flow coming into Prince William Sound and the Kenai Peninsula and parts of south central. That means an opportunity for snow and rain showers up and down Cook Inlet and a better chance of that mixing for the Kenai Peninsula itself. Snow showers for the Matanuska Valley south of Talkeetna into Anchorage by tomorrow afternoon and over the Copper River Basin. For southeast, pockets of rain showers will continue for your Wednesday afternoon. There's still a risk of thunderstorms offshore for southeastern Alaska. And for Thursday, high pressure setting up across the northern part of Yukon will lock in a cloud-free day once again. For the middle and upper Yukon and uh, generally uh, south-facing slopes of the Brooks Range will enjoy another clear day. Clouds across the northern coastal plain of the Arctic with pockets of snow showers for the upper Kuskokwim, including areas around McGrath, the Susitna Valley, and parts of south central once again looking at snow showers in the morning. Some of that should improve during the day with a little bit of a windier situation for St. Matthew and areas in the Pribloffs. Low pressure south of Haida Gwaii at 970 will start to clear things up for parts of southeast. With Alaska statewide weather, this is me.